So this is the third installment for today um, of the, the Linbit and Open Nebula Tech Days. And we are going to go over some super micro hardware today with Alexander. And Alexander is a senior field applications engineer uh, at Supermicro. He's got experience in storage and virtualization solutions uh, for both the hardware and the software side. We worked with um, Alexander to deploy LinStore on some Supermicro hardware. It was more of a proof of concept um, white paper that we wrote, which we can send out uh, to all the attendees once we're done here. Uh, so it's definitely, it's not the fastest, um, but like I said, it's more of a proof of concept to prove that it could be done. So with that, I'll go ahead and hand this off to Alexander to begin his presentation. Okay, can, can I stop? Please, yes. Yeah. Okay. Hello, uh, everybody. Uh, my name is Alexander Mahov. I'm uh, a senior FE engineer at Supermicro, and I'm going to talk about hardware, which is a basis of uh, every cloud solutions. And uh, we'll discuss what Supermicro uh, can offer to our customers. Um, what is cloud and cloud computer? Why we use cloud, uh, types of cloud, and uh, its advantages and disadvantages, and also market overview. All the things we will not discuss during this presentation. But we are talking about hardware and only hardware now, basically, super microservice, of course. And uh, what to have in mind when you hear super microservice? Uh, I think basically most of you think about uh, server, which you see on uh, on the top of the slides, uh, uh, the topest one. Um, so some regular uh, rack mounted server, but Supermicro portfolio is uh, not limited, but uh, by this uh, simple general purpose servers. Uh, we. Uh, of course, we have rack mount servers, but we also have a wide um, choice of multi node plates and multi node twin systems, storage systems, edge and Internet of Things uh, uh, platforms, networking, and many other interesting products. Uh, but um, let's, if we talk about cloud, I would like to start with. Uh, disaggregated cloud architecture with classic architecture when we have computing nodes, we have storage nodes. And the great example um, of rack mounted servers uh, is our new cloud DC platform. Um, our cloud DC uh, platform is cost optimized, but in the same time, it has ultimate flexibility. Um, it has dual AIOM slots, which is new OCP uh, three standards. So you have um, up to 200 uh, dual port 200 Ethernets, and you still uh, don't you ha you have your PCI Express slots free to add more cards. So it uh, allows us uh, to add uh, more and more extension slots, some uh, additional adapters, and video cards. Uh, this uh, platform allows us to add uh, double wide GPU uh, video adapters and also we can uh, have up to two GPU in one U system and two GPU and uh, two U systems. Both AMD and Intel last uh, generation CPU uh, can be used in cloud DC platform. And the next good example of the new generation of Supermicro complete solution servers is a uh, mega DC platform, uh, which is designed for hyperscale infrastructure uh, deployment. Uh, this platform has excellent index of uh, density, um, 12 drives uh, in one U, but still it has uh, great options to add extension slots. Um, Two PCI Express generation four and one AIOM OCP3 expansion slots. Uh, and MegaDC is not uh, just a one server, but it's a uh, family of our products and uh, two U and one U servers uh, designed for software defined storage, big data solutions, and uh, other applications. If uh, performance of our um, price optimized systems uh, is not enough, 
uh, we can add best in class uh, Supermicro Ultra servers. Again, both uh, last generations of AMD and Intel CPUs are uh, available, and uh, all the servers support um, up to uh, six PCI Express slots per server, uh, max TWP of uh, for CPU up to 284 AMD servers, uh, 32 DIMM slots, and uh, of course, redundant power supplies. And the uh, latest, uh, greatest update of Supermicro servers is uh, X12 Hyper Series, which uh, has uh, the best storage options, com even comparing with uh, Ultra servers. And uh, also it supports new AIOM additional slots. Uh, one of the most important goals uh, that we uh, pursue is creating of resource saving architecture. And if we talk of resource saving, of course, we mean super blade systems. Blade systems design allows to reduce power and cooling TCO up to uh, 50%. Multi-generation uh, infrastructure allows to use uh, the same platform, internal switches, and uh, update computing not only, and increase solution life cycle and reduce costs. Um, if we talk about classical disaggregated um, architecture, we, of course, we need storage. And Supermicro has all type of uh, storage, high density storage solutions with HDD, hybrid solutions with HDD and uh, NVMe for cache or tiering, and full NVMe solid state storage to provide minimal latency and maximal throughput. Um, if we talk um, uh, about lattice wall trends, uh, it's moving to uh, all NVMe or all flash storage and Supermicro is ready for this moment. We have a good uh, wide portfolio of full NVMe storage systems. And uh, uh, in the beginning, uh, we talked about uh, PLC with Linbit and we use CDSF short systems to uh, validate it with uh, Linbit software. These systems allow us to have uh, more than one petabyte uh, of NVMe uh, drive capacity in one U um, system. Uh, if uh, we are not going to use disaggregated uh, architecture and uh, if we don't want to uh, use blade because blades um, looks too exotic for some task, we still can offer a multi-node solution based on more traditional architecture. And I mean super micro twin systems and especially big twin systems family. Generally, we have two or four full functional servers in two U uh, chassis. Each node can have up to six terabyte and uh, two, two, six terabyte RAM and uh, dual CPU. Um, both AMD, Epic, and uh, Xeon scalable are supported and possible to use in uh, Big Twin. And um, it's high density systems, uh, but if Two no in four nodes is not enough. We also have a fat twin uh, family, um, which supports up to eight nodes in one chest. But of course, uh, everything has its price, and big twin nodes can have more powerful CPU and more RAM comparing with fat twins. But as I said, both families supports uh, AMD and CPU have AMD and, CPU and Intel options. Uh, the big part uh, of uh, Supermicro hardware portfolio is GPU servers. And uh, it's also important uh, for um, cloud computing uh, because uh, GPU systems is a part of, uh, of course, cloud solutions now. And uh, Supermicro has a highest density a deep learning system uh, with four GPU in one U uh, servers. Uh, and also um, system with uh, highest performance uh, with 20 uh, single wide GPUs in 4U. And of course, our uh, last Redstone and um, Redstone systems uh, with AMD and Intel CPUs uh, with flexible single or dual uh, root. Um, 
Of course, when people think about Supermicro, first they think, uh, think about classical rack-mounted servers and blades, but Supermicro is a company which can provide full end-to-end -end solution, so our networking department can offer dozens of server-side network adapters with PCI Express, CIOM and AIOM form factors, enterprise class network switches uh, from 1G to 100G Ethernet, and networking cables and transceivers. We provide total solution to, mill, uh, to meet all customer uh, needs from uh, hardware to software. We have huge selection of uh, networking products uh, and we work with major networking net, uh, vendors to get the best of the best from the industry and add it to our solutions. Super micro networking solutions are 100% compatible with world-class networking technologies. Another, I would say, uh, unknown part of our portfolio is age and Internet of Thing systems. Uh, cloud technologies are not limited by data, data centers now, and um, it's integral part of cloud computer now. And uh, Supermicro has really huge portfolio uh, for age systems. Uh, it's um, hundreds of uh, servers, chassis, and uh, building blocks. Um, and we have small fanless system with Intel Atom or i3, i5 uh, CPUs, uh, of course, medium system with uh, system or chip with Xeon D, rack, uh, rack mounted servers, wall mount servers, uh, enclosure for uh, extreme outdoor environment uh, with gradient temperature from minus 40 till uh, 50 uh, degrees. And uh, now we add more and more AMD based uh, system or chip. Our AMD based solutions is not too wide now, but we are working to extend this. And um, sometimes companies need to deploy hardware in outdoor environment, which makes it more challenging uh, to control the physical conditions. And a key feature for hardware that must endure um, this uh, wearing and tough physical condition is NEPS, uh, Network Equipment Building Practice Compliance. Uh, Supermicro already has hardware which is certified uh, for NEPS requirements, and we are always working on additional certification to expand this list of hardware. I just want to stop for uh, a minute uh, at two most powerful edge uh, platform. It's Ultra E and Hyper E uh, solutions. It's a short depth, uh, only 22 and uh, 6 inches, so less than 60 centimeters, uh, with uh, front access, front IO access, so uh, all Input, uh, all Ethernet adapters and other cards are accessible from the uh, front uh, side of the servers, which is uh, and this servers has a functionality of uh, high performance super micro servers, uh, uh, ultra families and um, hyper families, but they also can be used in not extreme but more rough um, environment. Uh, one more reason uh, why uh, it's a good idea to use Supermicro servers is Supermicro servers compatibility lists. Uh, Supermicro servers are validated uh, with uh, main Linux vendors. Uh, if uh, we open Red Hat website and we check uh, which Supermicro servers are certified with last Red Hat 8, uh, we have 155 servers. Uh, we had it a week a uh, week ago. Now we have even more. If we uh, look at and it's with last Red Hat eight, of course, with Red Hat seven, we will have more than 400, I suppose. And uh, if we talk about our latest and greatest AMD servers, all uh, servers available on our market now are certified with Red Hat. The same for uh, Canonical for Ubuntu. Um, and we uh, always try to be uh, to update this list and uh, validate. Uh, first, what we do, we validate our new uh, models for uh, most popular Linux systems. Um, 
The heart of Supermicro management is BMC, based board management controller, and uh, the new generation of BMC firmware is OpenBMC. Supermicro is one of main contributor of this project. OpenBMC provides management of hardware of multiple vendors without vendor lock. Using Open uh, Redfish RESTful interface allows automate hardware management with automation tools such as Ansible. And it's a huge step because now uh, Supermicro hardware uh, can uh, it's now we we uh, are ready for automation and uh, for automatic system management, which is really important in modern data centers and uh, cloud computer. And uh, Supermicro always take cares about security. Supermicro has modern technology stacks to provide security on hardware, firmware, and architecture levels. For example, hardware root of trust, uh, support of trusted applications, trust zone, uh, zone unique pre-programmed password, secure account management, and uh, Redfish uh, secure boot, etc., etc., etc. The last part uh, of uh, Supermicro business I want to mention today is Supermicro Red, integra Red Integration Service. Um, we uh, customers can order full rack with all cabling, uh, cabling calculated power consumption, batch marking, and uh, from Supermicro. The system will be fully tested and uh, validated. and. It's uh, very important if uh, customers want to use their own uh, network hardware, like uh, network switch for, from Cisco or Mellanox, they can ship this uh, switch to Supermicro and uh, will use uh, clients uh, network hardware in our rack, which is, uh, and we also always can set up it with VLANs, with uh, network settings, which is really convenient. And, uh, of course, as, as an example, we can look at the cloud solution design based on LeanBit and Open Nebula software and uh, Supermicro hardware. So if you are interested in this solution, Supermicro, LeanBit and Open Nebula engineers together uh, are ready to help you with uh, your solution design. We'll pick up the best and most optimal hardware, software and service components depending on your requirements. Supermicro is always open for new opportunities and fresh ideas. We can support your products from A to Z, help you with the solution architecture and design, and build proof of concepts in our lab. Thank you for your time. Please uh, ask questions in uh, the chat. Sorry. Okay, it looks like we've got one question right now. Um, do you plan to offer NVIDIA HGX A116 GPUs? systems in Microsoft, uh, micro, super micro packaging, excuse me. Uh, yes, but it's uh, not a uh, first wave plans. So um, we uh, release our products uh, in babes. So now uh, we are working on, uh, we already have eight uh, GPU systems uh, and um, about 16 GPU systems. Um, I cannot gi uh, give you which date of uh, release date, but yes, it will be included in our, in our portfolio later this year, I suppose. Okay. Give everybody a few more minutes to ask any questions if they've got any before we wrap it up here. I know that we're also um, working on a, a second white paper with Supermicro, uh, and I think this one is going to be a little bit more um, focused on performance. Uh, one of our engineers, I think Joel, is going to be working with you guys to, to write that paper. Mm. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And that one is going to go over uh, hyper-converged architectures. Yes, yeah, based on uh, our twin systems, Paul and VME. Uh, we'll try to build, uh, we, we'll, we will build, not try to build, we will build a hyper-converged uh, system together with um, LeanBit. 
and uh, open never do benchmarking to because our first white paper is uh, based on full and VME capacity optimized systems and the next one probably will, will be more real world uh, it will be more relevant for uh, real cases because it's more often uh, used hardware for hyper-converged uh, for medium clouds and uh, small on premise cloud systems. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I expect that that'll be released uh, probably in about two to three weeks or so. We'll make sure everybody gets a copy of that that's on the attendee list here. Okay, if there's no other questions, we'll go ahead and end it. Uh, thank you all for joining. And then yeah, we'll thank you all for your time. There is one question in the Q&A. Yeah. Uh, there, well, it was, a, it was a comment with regards to testing with Prox. Uh, any performance testing similar to what Proxmox offers with their Ceph clusters would be great. Um, mm, yes, we uh, my we have white papers uh, for Ceph testings uh, with Ceph tests, and uh, we also. Yeah, we uh, have a uh, lean bit. Uh, we have uh, tests with lean bit, and we can compare it with the same hardware with self cluster. So uh, you can uh, see difference because we also tested the um, the same cluster. I mean the same hardware with uh, self software. So uh, when uh, we release the white paper with Linbit. I think it's easy to find both uh, white papers and compare. Linbit's uh, numbers are higher than Ceph. It's not, not a secret uh, because Ceph is not so um, performance optimized. But um, if you interested, sorry. Ah. If you uh, want to, uh, if you want to get more information, you can uh, you can send me email, and uh, I will answer all questions you have. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, and then uh, we'll hope to see some of you tomorrow morning. Uh, well, PST time, and then the evening um, CES time. So. Tomorrow we'll go over Open Nebula 6 and then a customer success story and then a developer Q&A. So thank you all for joining. Thank you. Bye.